Okay, I'm going to talk to you today about social widgets that you can uh, get freely uh, off the internet and uh, put on your website. And you can put them on any website. Uh, I use Joomla, so I have a, a widget that's especially made uh, for Joomla websites and, you, and it uh, comes in the form of a module. So you upload it and, and uh, it goes into your modules. Uh, section so you um, you can go and make all uh, alterations in there which I'll show you in a minute now um, here they are at the moment we have the Facebook and the Twitter widget available uh, and I've got mine located at the top of the uh, main menu um, so when somebody somebody comes to the page uh, they can see it straight away so you know they may some people just you know, they don't necessarily click Re read the whole page but they may just click on it they may think oh it looks interesting I'm not going to bother reading the whole page but I'll share it you know um, you could you could put it at the very bottom of the page but I I, I think it looks uh, I think um you know it's probably better to put it at, above the fold um I've got another I have got one on, on another website that is located down here this is at the bottom of the page as you can see here I've got a lot more widgets available here, the Google one. We've got um, uh, Stumble Upon. Um, some of the other. I don't really use them, so I'm not really that familiar. You know, we've got sent Reddit there. We've got um, Sender Delish Delicious. We've got Google. Uh, we've got Fa MySpace. I don't. Know, I don't know how many people use these. I know. You know, we we know that Facebook and Twitter get a lot of users. How many people use these? Uh, I wouldn't like to say, but I've got the space to um, I've got the space to have these down here, so I've done it. Um, I haven't um, put them all up here. I probably could fit all those in if I made these a little bit smaller, but we'll we'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, before I show you the configuration, let's just have a look at the like and the share, and I'll just briefly tell you the difference between the two. Um, you don't have to have um, the share, you can have one or the other, um, but I'll, I'll show you what, what they do and then you can make your own mind up. The like button, all that does is when you click on it, if you, if you like an article, you click on it, that's all. You, you won't leave the page. Um, but what that will do is that will put a link onto, your, onto the Facebook. So if we go to Facebook and then refresh, You'll see that it's down here. It's put recent activity. Um, you, you know, if you're a Facebook user, you'll understand all this. The recent activity, pen likes, the Oscar fish, basically. That's all that's that all that does. However, if you go and click on share, like so, it'll actually bring up a box, like so. Exactly the same page. However, this is going to give you the opportunity to write something. So you can put in great read if you want. And then you share that, click share link. And that will post that again. That will post that straight to your Facebook page like so. But this time it will put it up here so people can see uh, what's there. So we'll uh, we'll just get we'll remove that. We don't really want we don't really want that there. People might think, oh, all right, big head. I'll start posting messages on my own website there. So we'll go back. So that's what the share and the like button do. Now I've already installed this module into another website. I'm not going to show you how to install it. Um, you know, if you don't know how to install modules, then uh, I suggest you go away and learn how to do it because you're not going to be able to do this if you don't know how to install it, if you don't know how to install a simple module. I've got the module installed. We'll have a, a quick look at the configuration. Uh, right, show Twitter a widget. At the moment, this is hidden. I'm going to, I'm going to do show, and I'm going to show you exactly what this does. Basically, this will show posts that people have made on Twitter. So I'll go in, in here, and we, as you can see here, I've already installed the, the widgets here. So I'll click Refresh, 
and you'll see what happens. You see here, it's showing Twitter posts. Uh, now, it's not something I really want on any of our websites. So I'm going to go back in to the configuration and I'm going to uh, hide it because I don't want it there. Okay, we'll, we'll click save in a minute. We'll just run through here. Twitter login, Joomla. Um, this is self-explanatory. Number of tweets to show, four. Avatars, if you want to show people's avatars, hide. Show timestamps. Uh, basically, that probably means um, where, where they are, what time it is, where they are, and so on. This is all configure. This is basically customization of what it looks like. Um, you know, you don't need me to show you that. This is the size of the widgets at the moment. We've got them on the largest uh, size here. That's 64-bit. Um, if you want to fit in more widgets, then I would suggest that you downsize because if you try and put in um, eight widgets, all that size, it's going to take a take up a lot of page space. So uh, make them smaller. They'll go they'll go half the size again. Okay, so we'll just come back in and go back there. So we're back in here. At the moment, we've just got Facebook and Twitter showing. Um, if we go to uh, this page here, you can see you can have all of them. Well, I'm not going to enable them all because you can see them here. Obviously, I've got this in a slightly different layout. This is in a banner module, so they're all in, in a straight line. Um, on this page, they're all in a slightly different module. So we'll go back into the uh, configuration. And we'll scroll down. But here we are. We were talking about the um, the Facebook like and share button. As you can see, you can have one or the other. Or if you don't want any of them, you don't have to have them. And also the uh, official official Twitter button. So if we go in there, that's the official tweet button there. Um, if you don't want um, the tweet button, then just click hide go back in click refresh and it'll disappear like like so um obviously it'll save a little bit of space there so we'll get we'll go back in here just to open up the configuration configuration a little bit um just scroll down um so basically um that is uh that is all there is to it. Um, there isn't really much more to be said about how these uh, how these work. Um, I will talk just briefly about uh, where you should put them. I've already mentioned that um, you can have them anywhere on your page. Um, I'm using uh, a Joomla website, so um, you, you can put them in any module you like. Um, my advice would be to put them either left or right. Uh, um, and above the fold, so people don't have to scroll down. You know, a lot of people come to websites, they don't scroll down the page. So if you've got them at the bottom, like I, I have them here, then people won't see them. Okay? If I go to my other website, you'll see that I've got them above the fold here, right above the menu. I've got there. On this website here, I've put them below some of the information about uh, contacting etc and I've got it right above uh, a little Google AdSense unit so I've um, I like I like to keep them close together you see people might you know they'll click on that and they'll think oh, I'll go and have a look at have a look at that so uh, I like to keep these uh, close together so that is really um, the social widgets and how they work and um, and how you set them up uh, very very easy to set them up only takes you just a couple of minutes to do it, really. Um, and you can um, put them on as many pages as you like. Um, some people suggest that uh, you shouldn't put them on your home page. Um, just on articles itself, uh, which um, is up to you, I suppose. So there you go, the, uh, the social widgets. Um, you know, whether you, whether you have Facebook or not, you don't need... 
you don't need a, a, a Facebook account to put these on your website um, at all. You can just put them on there and they'll work. Um, but I, I, if, if you're really serious about websites and, and you want to get as many people onto your site as possible, then I would um, advise you very much to, uh, to put one of these on your sites um, because it, you, I absolutely guarantee that um, you'll get your website out there to lots and lots more people. Um, so uh, there you go. I hope that little tutorial helped. And uh, So go out there and, and do it yourself. Cheers for now.